Welcome into TV24's Primetime Sports. I'm Gerhard Mathangani, joined in by Chase Robinson. All the teams are now in, all 14 teams here at SEC Media Days in Hoover. Chase, it's been a really good week. It's been a great week. A lot of highlights came from this week and a great day today, and the Auburn Tigers were in town. Absolutely, and that's exactly where we will start. The Auburn Tigers and head coach Gus Malzahn coming off an 8-5 and five season full of ups and downs. Tigers lost three of their last four games but added what they hope is an elite quarterback in Jarrett Stidham. So far, Stidham's teammates like what they see. He stepped in and really demanded a lot of our team, which is a good thing, of course. Like, he wasn't just sitting back worrying about himself. He really got the team involved, always a vocal leader, which was very, very nice to have. He's a great leader, a natural leader, you can tell by his swag, his charisma, how he carries himself around Auburn. He c continues to, to watch film each and every day. That's a habit for him. He loves the game. He's just one of those players that, that loves football, and he will be one of those players that, that'll get the job done. Malzahn noted that this stage of his career, he's best suited to take a step back. That allows Chip Lindsey to handle the offensive duties. Now, Malzahn also says that he feels a heightened sense of excitement for the season, much like he did in 2013. Our team is hungry. Uh, they wasn't happy the way that the season ended. And we went on that six game winning streak and we felt like we had a real chance to do something special last year. And we wasn't able to do that. So I know our players are hungry. They're motivated. They've got that chip on their shoulder. And what I was doing is I was comparing that I really hadn't felt this way about a team really since 2013. There are five players with local ties on this Auburn roster. Oxford's KJ Britt, Southside's Tyler Carr, Lincoln's John Tavius Johnson, Glencoe's Pace Osment, and Tyler Stovall from Hoax Bluff, who holds for All-American kicker Daniel Carlson. He's a guy that played professional baseball and was drafted out of high school. And, you know, he came back to college because he wanted a college education. And, you know, he loved Auburn football and wanted to join. And, you know, this is a way he can help out. But he's, you know, he's worked extremely hard. and. He's 27 years old and married, and it's, it's not the typical college football athlete. Um, but he's worked extremely hard and made my job a lot easier, along with the snapper, Ike Powell. The Ole Miss Rebels and Coach Hugh Freeze, they have been in the news a lot lately, and not in a good way. From the NCAA investigation going on, which comes with a bowl ban, and this week a new situation has arose in a legal situation with former coach Houston Nutt. With all that going on, the players are really having to come together and they're ready to be on the field. Adversity tends to either break you apart or bring you together. Um, and I think that's, that's one thing that's going to help us heading, heading into this season because this whole situation has really brought us all together and uh, just made us work with kind of with an edge on our shoulder and uh, you know, work a lot harder. Guys really got to understand that um, when the going gets tough, you got you to gotta really Get your, put your feet in the ground and like dig for it. Uh, you got to grind it out. Um, I feel like that's one thing we dealt with last year, having a young team. But I feel like us seniors, me, Marquise, uh, Javon, us seniors will be able to have that impact on these young guys and be able to transfer this, this um, attitude of hard work. Walk out there on the stadium and nobody's out there and you're like, man, I'm I'm ready to get the atmosphere, lock the vault, get the get everybody rumbling and, and yelling and chanting and just ready to get to work, man. So put so the world what we're about. No matter how good the Rebels are this season, they will not be able to play in a bowl game due to the ban. With bowl games being a reward for the season, Coach Hugh Freeze is having to find a way to motivate his team without that reward. We're we're gonna define, you know, success for us this year is did we do everything for the guy next to us for him to be successful today so that in 20 years from now this year matters because this year does matter you may not play in a bowl game but it does matter in your development it does matter in your thought process of uh, as a husband or, or a father one day it's going to matter and um, so we'll define it a bit differently. And finally, South Carolina. Head coach Will Muschamp enters his second season with a bona fide starting quarterback. Sophomore Jake Bentley took the reins in week seven, never looked back. Bentley's one of 10 returning starters on offense, joining tight end Hayden Hurst and receiver Debo Samuel. Those two accounted for more than 1,800 yards last season. This will be the first time going into a season since I've been here that we've had a named starting quarterback heading into the season, so I think that's huge. 
and it just helps me prepare because I know I know what to expect with Jake, and he knows what to expect out of us. And I think if we can rely on each other like that as an offense, it's just going to be a cohesive unit, and it'll be easy to flow. Every day, that's kind of my men, uh, mentality. Every time we take the field, is that no one can stop us, um, and. and you know, I want everyone on our offense to have that same mentality that every time we touch the ball, we're going to score. So, you know, all the work we put in this offseason, too, um, will pay off during the fall. But definitely having those playmakers around me makes it, makes it real fun as a quarterback. Seems like just yesterday, former Oxford High School standout Yurik Jones signed with the Gamecocks out of junior college. Now Big U is one of six returning starters on defense and one of the team leaders. For us to play well defensively, Taylor Stallworth, Yurik Jones, and Dante Sawyer need to play well for us. They're three seniors. The three guys are capable of playing well. And for us to play well defensively, they need to have good years. And certainly uh, seeing Yurik's progression from when we first got there to now, he's worked extremely hard to get himself in great shape. Uh, he's a wonderful young man. And uh, we're looking forward to, to uh, seeing him play his senior year. And that's a wrap for all 14 teams in all four days here at SEC Media Days in Hoover. Chase, it's been another good one. Yeah, it's been a great week this week. The teams are going to head home, and hey, in just seven weeks we'll be taking the field. It'll be here before we all know it. That is it for us here in Hoover. Mickey and Chris will close out TV24's primetime news next.